everyone. Uh, right here. Welcome back, man. Uh, it's obviously been a few years since we saw you. Um, what was the decision to ultimately come back? Uh, I came back to get this fight shit popping again. Did you ever feel like you didn't want to get it popping at any point? No, I feel like they stopped the world and, you know, I had to make certain moves in my life and now we're here. Yeah, is that kind of what contributed a lot to it? You didn't want to fight during COVID? Well, I couldn't really fight during, in that situation. I had to move and then move my gym and get everything kind of organized, ready to fight. It's already hard enough to fight when I had everything the way I wanted it. So I couldn't, I wasn't going to start training for a fight if I didn't have the right things in the right places. And obviously uh, a lot of time to kind of reflect on the last fight and change your game. Um, how different do you feel you are in terms of your skill set from the last time we saw you? Well, now I know how to chop wood and shovel snow a lot better. That's what you spent a lot of time doing? Yeah. Are you, are you like living out in the bush a little bit now? Yep. You like that? Yep. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about Charles Jordan? Did he care about the opponent or do you just want to get back in there? Uh, he, he was the best guy they offered me, and um, that's kind of it. I just want, didn't want to wait anymore for a different opponent. He was the only guy with kind of a name, the only guy I heard of. So here we are. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the third year anniversary of the UFC this year. You know, you see the signage, he'll be on your gloves. Does it mean anything to you, given what your family name has contributed to building the sport and this company to what it is to kind of fight during this anniversary year? Is that special for you? No. Um, last thing, uh, Nate Diaz is coming back in August and boxing Jake Paul. What's your thoughts on that fight, and how do you think it goes? I think that's good. I think uh, he, he's finally going to get a real check, a real big one, hopefully. And uh, he's always been a boxer. You know, I think he's underestimated with people who've seen how, how good his boxing is. And I've seen him beat up a lot of pro boxers. You know, so, I mean, I think it's going to be great. Thank you.